I can tell you this: Chinese is the easiest language to learn in the world, and I will tell you why in this video. First, Chinese has no grammar rules. A complete Chinese sentence have no any grammar markers. For example, when I say I go to the gym, there has to be to and the right in Chinese. I is 我 go is 去 gym is 健身房 So if you want to say I go to the gym, you just say 我去健身房 It means I go gym. There's no to. No, the just 我去健身房 I go gym. As for oral Chinese, sometimes you don't even need to follow the sentence order. For example, when you say I go to take a shower, it is 我去洗澡 In Chinese, 我 is I, 去 is go, 洗澡 you can guess is take a shower. So in English, you have to follow the sentence order. Or if you say I a、uh, shower go to take, or I take to go a shower, most people know it is a wrong expression. But in Chinese, if you say 我洗澡去，洗澡去我，洗澡我去 almost everyone can understand you. Second, Chinese has no inflection. We know that in English you have to change the form of a word when it comes to different part of speech, like happy to happily. However, in Chinese there is no change. When we want to express different part of speech, like happy to happily, you only need to put a the behind the objective happy, which is similar to English, but there is no spelling change. For example, happy is 快乐 in Chinese. And happily is 快乐的 and you know what? Happiness is still 快乐 in Chinese. So there's no any change to the characters itself. In English, if you use I as the subject of a sentence, it has to be followed with am. If you use he, you have to use is. But in Chinese, there is no any changes. The only way to express B is 是 We only put other characters behind or before the character, so you don't need to waste time remember inflections. Third, Chinese characters tell itself. Chinese characters is the only existing ideogram in the world today. We know that ancient Egypt has hieroglyph. Which the meaning can be told by its appearance. So does Chinese characters. For example, when I say zebra in English, as you know, is an animal with black and white stripes, right? So zebra belongs to the family of horses. If you never learn the word zebra, you can never tell it means a horse with stripes. But in Chinese characters, zebra is called ban ma. Ban means stripe. Ma means horse, so ban ma means stripe horse. It is super easy to tell the meaning from its appearance. Fourth, Chinese is a combination of units. The common used Chinese characters is about thirty five hundred characters, including twenty five hundred most common used and one thousand less common used. Due to the fact that you don't need any grammars in Chinese, you can combine every characters in those lists to make a sentence. Now I can teach you five Chinese characters, and you can make many sentences. 我爱不 not 去 go 吃 eat 饭 meal. So I don't go to eat meal is 我不去吃饭 I go to eat meal is 我去吃饭 I eat meal is 我吃饭 I don't eat meal is 我不吃饭 And do you want to go to eat meal? Is 去吃饭不 Or 吃饭不 Only five characters without any grammar rules and any spelling change. You can make six sentences, including questions. Again, all we need to do is remember thirty-five hundred common Chinese characters, and you can speak like a native speaker. In the future, I will help you to totally understand how to remember Chinese characters and make you speak true Chinese. And I will see you in the next video.